In North Dakota Class 3A football tonight, conference action opens, and what better way to open the EDC play than with a crosstown rivalry between West Fargo and Cheyenne at the Mustangs' new field. These two teams shaking hands before kickoff, a new tradition for all varsity sports in West Fargo. The Packers take advantage of some Cheyenne penalties and punch it in early. Chase Teakin, a big night, darts in from three yards out, and it's 8 nothing Packers. West Fargo defensive line controlled things up front. Ben Dirks, three sacks on the night, a huge night for him as he drags down Rorick for a loss of six. West Fargo moving again the second quarter inside handoff again to Teakin. Finds room and goodbye. 37 yards to the house. West Fargo continues to dominate to claim the 30-point shutout over the Mustangs. Over in Fargo, the Bruins hosting Red River in their first EDC matchup of first match of EDC for either of them. Tied at seven in the second quarter. Bruins looking for a lead before half. Third and 11 from the 43. Jack Piper fought, hits Aaron Ellingson, but the Rough Riders knock it loose and recover the fumble. They use time to take distance and will line up for third and 10 from the 20. Casey Schumacher with the carry, and he makes his way in easy for the Red River lead. 14-7 at half. South comes back, though, to win with 29 points in the fourth quarter, 36-27 the final, as Fargo North wins big up in Grand Forks, 21 to nothing. Fargo Davies still looking for their first win, taking on Devils Lake at home tonight. They take an early lead from the start. Connor Rail fighting for the first six of the game from short, gets through the Firebirds, and it's 7 nothing Davies early. They're back on the drive not soon after and looking for a big gain on second and 19. But Bradley Davidson has other ideas, picks off the long ball, and returns it even further. Down to the Davies, 45 for the Firebirds attack. The Eagles shut it down, though, and turn things back around. They'll add a second touchdown in the second quarter from the three. J.D. Arguelles takes it wide and walks on in for a 14-0 Davies lead. They go on to win it 48-7 to pick up that first win of the season. In Class 2A action, Shanley hosting Lisbon. Deacon's head coach Rod Oxendahl there going for win number 300 in his coaching career. After forcing a three and out, Shanley goes on the attack. First play from scrimmage, and Matt Bird takes it to the house. 38 yards for the score to take a 7-0 Deacon's lead. Next possession for Shanley. Big man touchdown here. Bruce Mazzaro, all 6 foot 2, 210 pounds, rumbles into the end zone. Deacons go up 14-0 in the first quarter, and they roll from there, earning each earning coach the big 300th career win. Traditionally, it's probably the, the greatest program in, in North Dakota history, without a doubt. And it's a, I'm very, very proud to be coaching here and uh, very glad that uh, I got my 300 win here. I really am. Three places that I've coached in Winemere and Cavalier and here, I think uh, all three places are uh, very, football is important in all those three schools. And that's, that's the reason you do that. So. 57 nothing. the final for Coach o Oxendahl and Wapaton gets their first win of the season, 52-28 over Maple, Maple Valley Enderlin. Over in Castleton now, Central Cast hosting Hillsboro Central Valley. Third quarter, second and four, Grady Bresnahan keeps it himself and goes 12 yards for the first down. They end up going three and out. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Bresnahan hands it off to Nate Volk. He takes it 48 yards to the house. Touchdown for the Squirrels. They lead it 22-6 there, and they finish it 28-6. And Valley City is 3-0 after a 59-6 win over Turtle Mountain. Down in Kindred, Grafton and the Vikings both fighting for their first win of the season tonight. First quarter, Kindred trailing by six. Ethan Lang connecting with Brock Benson. He gets the first down and then some. A couple plays later, first and goal. Lang keeps it himself this time. Touchdown. For the Vikings, they're up 7-6 after the PAT there. The ensuing possession to start the second quarter for Grafton. Jason Garza on the keeper. Touchdown for the spoilers here. They take a 14-7 lead after the two-point conversions. Good. Kinder picks up their first win of the season, though, 39-22. And in single-A action, top-ranked Park River Fordville Lincoln wins big again with a 58-0 win on the road. Staying with single-A, Northern Cats out in rugby. First quarter here, Northern Cats quarterback Cody Springer connects with Brant Bomert for this beautiful catch. Rugby bench screaming that the ball hit the ground. But the refs rule otherwise. Second quarter, same drive. 
The Jaguars in the red zone. Springer hands the ball to Andrew Jones, and he runs it in easy for that touchdown. PAT is no good, though. It's Jaguars up 6 nothing. Rugby fans hoping for a Panther touchdown. Anders Johnson looking for an open man, but he is picked off, and Nick Nelson returns at home. Northern Cats improves to 3-0 and in the tight fight, 27-26 final. Carrington off to another strong start this year, a 70-14 to win over Langdon. Big matchup in nine-man. Number one, Cavalier versus number two, Thompson. Both undefeated in the Tommies take down the Tornadoes, ending their winning streak at 27 consecutive wins. Well, third-ranked Richland wins big 66-20. to We'll stick with us.